All right, hey everybody, this is Mason Claude, um, technical agronomist for BW Fusion for Iowa and Minnesota. Today I'm out at my farm um, picking uh, some Baseline RX soil samples. So uh, for those that are not familiar, Baseline RX is a program from Agronomy 365 that utilizes soil color imagery, topography, and water flow accumulation in order to delineate similar soil types. So the goal of what this program is, is to separate five different management zones on average per field that are gonna behave very uh, similar, either a biologically, chemically, or physically in all three of the above. That's why that program was designed. Uh, whereas, you know, a two and a half acre grid, you might be getting a lot of different soil zones, different management zones within only one grid. Uh, and that grid is going to be showing a skewed result of how that soil in that area behaves again physically chemically and biologically those are three metrics that we use in 365 in order to build proper fertilizer prescriptions so um, uh, what i wanted to show you is is the consistency of what these zones are i actually was a skeptic um, I, I helped customers for a couple of years uh, with this program before I even adopted it on my own farm, I will admit. Um, and there's nothing really wrong with that, I guess. I just kept on seeing everybody else be very successful with it. And so I finally adopted it. And so I was out here pulling samples and it just was unbelievable to me how consistent these soil cores were. I've taken two and a half acre grid samples before and you know that entire bucket will have nine different soil colors within it, right? The, the color, the texture is just, just very uh, inconsistent within a grid, but it represents a square and we're managing that square on average, right? Um, which is the step in the right direction. It's the right uh, concept, but a poor execution of variable rate scripting. So, or variable rate management or zone management, if you will. So um, again, what this is, this is based off of your soil color, texture, water flow accumulation, not necessarily yield, not necessarily two and a half acre grids, obviously not, and not necessarily soil type either. You know, a soil type at a 0% slope compared to a two to 4% slope behave entirely differently. So this also takes that into consideration. Um, so what I wanted to show you is again, pay attention to the consistency consistency of the soil color and texture within each of these buckets as well as uh, how different each of these buckets really are in that color and texture metric so uh, this is zone one again this is north central iowa zero to maybe three percent slope in this field um, so you can see it crumbles right apart um, very light kind of soil type very very sandy kind of soil type uh, so that's a zone one again look at how consistent that bucket is as far as overall soil color um, zone two you can see instantly it gets a little bit darker but again pay attention to the texture the consistency of that texture in this in this bucket a little bit more of that kind of cottage cheesy aggregated um you know soil type so again it, it's it's just very very consistent all these cores are very consistent again these came from different spots in a, in a 120 acre field different spots entirely and that's how consistent the soil color and texture is moving on to zone three again a little bit darker of a color but you can see here how it's how it's keeping its core a little bit more it's holding this structure a little bit more than the other buckets it's harder to break apart they're kind of sticking together a little bit tighter so maybe a little bit higher magnesium levels probably a, a higher cec environment higher organic matter possibly zone four again you see this see how consistent the color and the texture is all of these cores are behaving very 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 similarly um, therefore it's allowing us to manage these zones a little bit more properly rather than basing them off of just an average you know um, a grid sample is going to have four three two one all within one grid possibly and you're just shooting for the average and hoping for uh the, the best and really uh what we're able to do is get a little bit more consistent fertilizer prescriptions um then moving on to zone five as you can tell there's not very much zone five in this field uh but very 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 heavy dense very heavy and dense soil probably very high cec uh high magnesium levels look at how it just sticks together like that right it just can't even hardly break it apart it, but what i want everybody to notice most of all is consistency within that bucket the fact that all of these cores came from different spots in a 120 acre field from all different corners of it and they ended up that consistent and not just color but texture the overall texture and makeup of that soil is very very similar um, per zone so again zone five four three two one typically your lighter zones are going to be those zones one and two uh, but the most abundant zones are typically your zones three or four within a field uh, depending on your environment obviously uh, but anyway i just thought it was very very interesting to see the level of consistency of this program is bringing uh, whereas you know a two and a half acre grid would be a culmination of at least two or three of those soil zones most likely 
because anybody that's gone to a soil sampling workshop has actually been told by whoever was giving the workshop, they always say, go up to the top of the hill, go to the side hill, go to the bottom of the hill, make sure you're getting an average of the square. Everybody that's been to a, maybe a university soil health workshop has been taught that, that you're supposed to just get an average of this square. So you're essentially getting, you know, three, four different zones within one sample. And you're using that to make a management decision uh, across, again, three or four different zones that need to be treated three or four different ways. And so, uh, that what this program is going to allow us to do moving forward is not just uh, variable rate our fertilizer more properly, but also our lime and uh, and also our, our seeding scripts. So that way we can optimize the efficiency of our hybrids within those zones and optimize our fertilizer within those zones as well. Thanks, everybody.